there's a little trick that you do. You zip it all the way up on the word beautiful. I noticed that. <laughs> and then you zip it back down. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Come on, uh, okay. want a sweater? I would love, can I try on one of your sweaters now? Sure. I heard a story that your mother knit some of your sweaters. She used to make them all. Oh, really? Yes. In fact, at Christmas time, she would give a sweater to each one of us that was sort of an extended family. Mm -hmm. And there were 12 of us. Oh, wow. And she would make a sweater every month. And then at Christmas time, give all 12 of us one. She, oh. And then she'd say, what kind do you all want next year? She said, oh, I know the kind you want, Freddie. You want the one with the zipper. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So, choose what you like. Oh, let me see. I like blue. These are my favorite colors. Okay. Okay. See, people were not allowed to try on my crown. They weren't. No. Okay. You mean the Miss America yeah, had to be just rules. Miss America? It was in the rules. So this is a luxury. Oops. It's a little big. <laughs> now, there's a little trick that you do. You zip it all the way up on the word beautiful. I noticed that. <laughs> And then you zip it back down. Why? Why do you? Because the microphone's right there. Ha! So now after the sweater, always, 25 years, you do your shoes. Are, is this the same pair of shoes that you had? No. OK. No, we've gone through several pairs of sneakers. Oh, really? Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? I was never seen for eight years so in the first programs that we did. Mm -hmm. I did the puppets and the music behind the set. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the castle in the neighborhood of make-believe entertainment tonight. So I started wearing these things so that I could ru run from one end of the studio to the other, from the organ to the puppet stage. Uh -huh. And that's why I wore sneakers. And it just stuck. Huh. Now yeah. what about coming through the door and, and singing the song and changing every time? I mean, was there what originated the sweater and the shoes? I mean, the shoes because of the running, but why on the show? Why was there that, that ceremony kind of thing on the show? I think it's a good word for it, ceremony. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought of it as that, but again, you, you know, you have a real feel for what we do. And it is a ceremony. In fact, uh, tradition is something that makes people feel very comfortable. They know what to expect. And they know that when I come in there that I'm going to do certain things to get into comfortable clothes and we're going to have some time together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then when I leave, I get back in my street clothes and mm -hmm. out we go. But children need to have some pegs to feel comfortable. And in this world, there are so few of them. Won't you please, won't you please, please won't you be my neighbor? Welcome to this neighborhood, neighbor. You know, I'm not an actor. I just give myself. I think the greatest thing that we can give a child is another honest adult in that child's life. You always make each day such a special day. You know how? By just your being yourself. There's only one person in this whole world like you. And people can like you exactly as you are. I'll be thinking about you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.